Hi guys, it's been a while since I did a, a new video. There's a lot of changes that have happened in my life. I was forced to go to New Jersey for a while. My mom had passed away. Um, so everything in the garden is delayed or it's it's gone crazy out here. I do want to show you some new gardening tools. These are the radius and my favorite color is orange. This is my favorite of all. And I got this one and I got this one. Oh, my dad is with me. Um, since my mom passed away, he came to live here. So he helps me out in the garden a lot. But today we'll be planting cucumbers. And we're going to be planting basil, tomatoes. And these are the Cubanelli peppers. Usually I like to start these things from seed, as you all know. But since everything is delayed, I had to buy some plants and get, just help me get a head start. This is the lettuce I planted about five days ago. It's already sprouting. And over here I have planted some basil. You can see a couple of them coming out there. And then I have some carrots here that are coming out also. You can see them there. Um, I'll walk you over here. I planted artichoke for the first time, and I'm not sure if they're going to turn out well, but so far, this plant seems to be um, doing okay. I started this from seed, and while I was gone, my daughter did her best to take care of it. Um, over here, we have a row of potatoes, a row of beets, and then uh, my two little tomatoes. Um... I wanted to plant so much more and I planned all winter but sometimes life just takes you for roller coaster rides and believe it or not you know when you lose someone it's just not easy and I'm still mourning so I'm hoping that being out here in the garden and spending time with nature and, and God and my family it's just I'll be okay these are some lettuces that we had bought and dad is asking me over here what to do. See, he speaks only Spanish, so you'll hear that occasionally. See, this is all dirt that I built up through the years. It's taken a long time to get this dirt in the condition that it's in. And we use rapid manure as a compost, as a fertilizer. Over here, this little row here, we have planted some stars and moons watermelon. I'm hoping they'll sprout planted those about five days ago but he's a little impatient and doesn't realize see I tell you that sometimes it takes more than five days for the plant to come out so but here we go this is a new netting I got see I it's not as sturdy as I thought but we tied it on really strong and it'll do its job and the tree has, uh, the greenhouse still has its um, roof on. My husband and my dad will remove it soon. And, you know, it's been so crazy here that the other day we planted something and I forgot to label it and I don't even know what I planted. So I'm going to call this year Mystery Garden. And we'll just see what comes out. Hopefully. When it comes out, I'll recognize it. I'm really good at recognizing plants, but I'm not going to sw sweat over it. I'm not going to go crazy or, you know, try to be perfect out here because it never will be. Um, so I would just wanted to give you all an update and, you know, I'll try to keep you posted through the spring and summer and, and know what, um, what's going to pop up out of the ground and we'll just have to wait and see. These are doing beautiful, though. They really are. Um, we'll be eating these soon, but not yet. They need time. So, yeah. I'll keep you all posted. Papi, saluda. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's a comedian. <laughs> God bless. Bye.